Jeff, what am I doing? Well, you're reading a book and warming your testicle by the fire. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just reading any old book, Jeff. I'm reading the Regis Philbin autobiography, How I Got This Way. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one, man. And it explains how Regis became Regis. <laughs> yeah, he was, uh, he was manufactured. Uh, he was manufactured by elves in the North Pole. That's true. That's very true. Santa said, I'm looking for something special for this year. <laughs> because Santa talks like uh, a creepy member of the cast from Downton Abbey. He does, yes, yeah. he does. He does. Yeah. You probably don't recognize me. I'm Santa Claus. Hello, no. <laughs> I say, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that it? That's it, yeah, that's all I All right. Uh, anyway, well, you were reading Regis's book. I saw it on your podium. Yeah, I was reading this the is book. This podium, by the way. Podium isn't a fancy European word for penis or anything. No. <laughs> well, it is now. Yeah, it is now. It is. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah. So, uh, you were reading it? I was reading the book because he was uh, famously the sidekick on the Joey Bishop show. He, ah! He's my idol, you see. Oh, yeah. In sidekickdom. <laughs> well, uh, what sidekickery are you going on to after we're done here? I'm maybe you could maybe you could do a, a morning show. Yeah, oh, yeah, mornings with Jeff Peterson. Wake up with Jeff Peterson. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait! Wait, studio audience. Think it through. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Did you have pleasant dreams? Because <laughs> you won't later tonight. Well, uh, I'm not going to do that. You're not going to do that. What are you going to do? Walk the earth, solving crimes. <laughs> well, I'd like to do that with you. I'd like to go with you, man. All right, then. Walk over here with me and we'll solve a crime over here. I get, you see the problem. Yeah, but if you could, could you, could you push me? I can't, I'm not able to. Uh, all right, then. Oh, this is my favorite. Get behind me. <laughs> gingerly, gingerly. <laughs> Just give it a nice. How, how, does, car how does Carrot Top have sex? <laughs> gingerly. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, you ready? Uh -huh. Hey, you know what we could do that scene from Ghost? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my love. Oh. Da, da, da. <laughs> hmm. Although, if we did it, Jeff, we'd have to do it with music which is in the public domain. That's correct, yeah. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... Have you seen the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Have you seen the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. <laughs> Tonight, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this show is going to be performed by professionals who really care. <laughs> right, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Fridays. In here, it's always Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Thank you.
you. Quietly. Take over with it. That's right. That's very, very good. Very good, everybody. Please sit down, relax. Gosh, you're, you're... Oh, thanks. Yeah, that stopped abruptly, didn't it? They were out. And they, they were, were like, done. they were going, and then boom, nothing. Had enough of you. And you know what, though? The, 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 the applause hugged me so tight, my nipples inverted. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, applaud my deformity, everybody. Oh, hell. No, uh, that's what the warm-up comedian said. Uh, we call him that, Jeff? Yeah, he's not really a comedian. Not really a he comedian. is not a no, comedian. But no, but he did, uh, he said, hug him so tight, his nipples invert. Nipples invert. Have you ever... Yeah, when I, when I had flesh, yes, I had inverted nipples. <laughs> three of them. You have three nipples. You have I three have nipples. three nipples and one testicle and a dream. Yeah. <laughs> that's the a motto. dream of a brighter America. That's right. Three. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> easy it is to be someone in an election campaign, say things like, I got three nipples, a dream, and a dream of a brighter America. People go, oh, yeah, now, now you're talking. Yeah. That's what that whole election cycle, I'm a deeply objectionable human being, but I care about you. Oh, yeah. well, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, that, now you're talking. I'm a liar and a cheat, and I'll do anything I want to make you like me. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I made myself laugh there. Good. And it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> Thank heaven. Thank heaven the election day is over. No more campaign ads. No more mudslinging. No more candidates pretending they're straight. It's over. It's over. It's done. Yeah. Done. For the first time in history, Congress has 100 women in it. Congratulations. <laughs> Welcome! Welcome to modern times, America. Yeah. yeah. That's great. hundred women in Congress. It's great unless you're in line for the congressional bathroom, am I right? <laughs> yeah. There's an ironic twist on sexism. <laughs> <laughs> or was it? Am I right? I think it's fantastic that Congress has an increasing number of women. Experts call an increasingly female presence in a previously male space the Bruce Jenner effect. Yes. That's what it's known as. Uh, that is correct. That's the scientific term. Do not judge me no. for what I have said. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a great day for Clay Aitken, though. Oh, dear. No, he came up short in the polls. <laughs> oh, grow up. Clay Aiken ran for Congress in North Carolina. He sadly didn't make it. Clay Aiken is famous for coming in second in a TV popularity contest that most people uh, got fed up with years ago. And he also lost on American Idol, is what I'm saying. <laughs> He'll be fine, though. He's going, going to go back to doing what he was doing. Yeah. Uh, what was he doing? He, I don't know. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> it's a big day for the... Uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about. What is that? Big... <laughs> a big day for marijuana because it was legalized in Washington, D.C. No, Congress has an excuse. Uh, <laughs> it was also it's like. Yeah. Uh, what are we voting on? What? <laughs> hey, where, where did I put my gavel? Do you know where uh, marijuana was also legalized in Alaska? And who doesn't love baked Alaska? <laughs> yeah. ah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's right, because it's a thing. It's it's, it's a thing. It's an ice. Dish. It's an ice. It's ice cream and then uh, flames. Yeah, you I think, put that it? in there and then. It's an ice cream inside flame. Right. <laughs> which 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 is how many have described you? A flaming ice cream? Yes, it's a compliment, yes. Is it? Yeah, you're an Do you know that Florida rejected medical marijuana? A lot of elderly people were in Florida were furious, waving their fists, stomping their feet, yelling at anyone they could. Then they heard there was an election on. It was terrifying. <laughs> right, because, yeah. Because they're old. They're older yeah, people, yeah. right, I got it. <laughs> if old people in Florida want legal weed, what they could do is they have to go to Colorado in a thousand-mile-long caravan of riddle rascal scooters. Yeah. <laughs> like, just, like... Crossing the prairies. <laughs> Just crossing.
just like sweeping your hairs majestically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get it up to five miles an hour. Anyway, we're done. For, for good, or just we're going to come back after this, though? I can never tell. Yeah, it's the yeah, best. Sometimes I think I'll come back after the commercial break, and other times I think, ah, you know, let's yeah. that's it. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, come no, on. apparently. Oh, what the hell? I see. I see that this audience were particularly reserved during what I thought was an otherwise spectacular monologue. <laughs> Suddenly. D all right, I admit, but still, <laughs> came to life when I said a cuss word. Yeah, that's... And, and you won't allow that cuss word because you don't want to give Americans what they want, which is cuss words late at night. <laughs> Americans want cuss words late at night on broadcast TV. Yeah. That's <laughs> and the reason... And the reason, sir... The reason, sir, that you will not give them what they want is because, Jeff, why? You, sir, you are, sir a are a racist. You, sir, are a racist. That's racist. why. That's why. A, ra a racist. <laughs> you ever get the feeling that we've gone mad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Commercial break. All right. You're watching The Late Late Show with the Clay Aiken of late night comedy, Craig Ferguson. <laughs> what happened during the commercial break no oh, it was unbelievable oh you know what it was i'm just playing along yeah well it was crazy tell it tell everybody else though tell no, no, everybody no. Else. you tell me why because i didn't know you knew why no i saw it but you tell it no 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 you no, tell no, no you're the host of the show i want you to tell show. it because clearly you know no, you're the host of the show i don't need to tell anybody why happened yeah, yeah. that i bid you adieu i bid you adieu <laughs> i bid you adieu as well All right. all right, all right. So what happened during the break? Well, what happened was this. I went over to talk to Michael to uh, ask him to forgive me for yelling at him a little bit in a playful way at the end of the monologue. Right. And he said, hey, you know at the beginning of the show when you were talking about Ghost, the movie Ghost? I was like, yeah. He said, I didn't know you'd seen that movie. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You see what happened? You would do. You see Unbelievable. He, he, he bid me adieu. Unbelievable. How dare you? There's no adieu bidding from producers. Can't uh, bid people adieu. This is, this is monumental. This is shocking. This is shocking, Craig. I, I'm flabbergasted. Well, we should all bid him adieu. Right. Then, Let's all bid him yeah. adieu. Ready? Go. Right, all right. You know what's interesting? Sometimes you can tell what a round of applause from a studio audience means, and that one was, uh, we don't really know what's happening right. now. <laughs> yeah. It's like, please move to an area we are more comfortable with, because th I don't think this bit is working, if it's even a bit. Right, and, and what we've learned from this show, Craig, is when you tell us that a bit isn't working, we will do I'll be it doing it every night That's for right. the next 10 nights. That's correct. That's right. <laughs> Sorry for cussing everybody. I, uh, I've got a, a Veruca. A Veruca? Yeah, you know what a Veruca is? It is a Veruca. Veruca. It's, uh, it's, like a, it's like a foot, a wart you get in your foot. Uh, from uh, hanging around public swimming areas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the band, like Veruca Salt. Veruca right, salt. right. Well, the salt, the salt is the... Salt is the type of... is what you put on a Veruca um, to make it more savoury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what time is it, Jeffrey?
Tommy Pearson. It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man with three nipples, one testicle, and a dream. <laughs> All right, this is from uh, Patrick, uh, Patrick, age 12, from New York City. Oh, oh boy, oh, boy. Uh, mm -hmm. It says, Dear Craig, well, he probably goes, Dear Craig. Well, I don't, I think he's 12. All right, sorry, I, Dear Craig. Yeah. How old do you think I need to be to watch your show without adult supervision? <laughs> I'd stick another six years on it there. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, off you go. <laughs> off you go to bed, young man. Uh, this is from Reggie in Miramar, California. We have ten seconds left to do all of these. Oh, dear. Do the Liam Neeson thing. Quickly, there's no time. All right, the tweets. Quickly, there's no time. There's no time. Craig, I, uh, I'm applying to a lot of very good uh, colleagues for next... Colleges! Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't go. Uh, Craig, I'm applying to a lot of very good colleges for next year, and I need a letter of recommendation. Oh. <laughs> Do you know anyone really cool who would help? <laughs> uh, well. Yeah. Oh, I forgot your name. Uh, <laughs> from Allison in Columbus, uh, Georgia, he says, Craig and Jeff, uh, Jeff. Hey, hey, what's going hey, on? Hey, hey. Hey, hey, don't. Uh, I'm building a robot from scratch, and I wondered if you had any advice. Yeah, don't. Uh, <laughs> and finally, this is from Alan in Buffalo. I don't know if you can tell, but Alan's a turkey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Good stuff. A comedy legend, comedy legend, Jeff. He's a say? giant. A I mean, giant. really, Hall of Famer. This is the one. This is the one. Uh, he's performing in uh, Great Falls, Montana, at the Mansfield Theater on November the 13th, and in Richmond, Canada, the magical land of Canada, Canada <laughs> at the River Rock and Casino Resort on the 15th. Please welcome the great Bob Newhart, everybody. <laughs> I like the way you've put it together. Thank you. Blazer, the slacks. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you still doing stand up uh, at the, in Canada? Yeah, I'm, uh, first Great Falls and then uh, uh, Vancouver. And do you find they understand your accent in Canada? <laughs> Just a boot. <laughs> I didn't know you could speak Canadian. <laughs> Have you ever been up to that, that Red Rock Casino up oh, there? Oh, I've played it many times. Me too. It's yeah. fantastic, isn't it? I love the, the Canadian people. They're lovely people. They are very, very nice they people. Are, yeah. But inside, they harbor a deep resentment. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are lovely. So how many stand-up dates do you do in a year, then? I, I'll do uh, 20. What are you going to uh, for? <laughs> I think you're going, oh, like, I don't know if that's a lot or not very many at all. <laughs> it's about medium. It's a lot for me. Yeah, it, it is a lot. Do you, how long of a set do you do when you do the stand-up now? Uh, I'll do an hour and 15. That's perfectly, that's what I do. But, you know, 
but not as funny, obviously. That I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I remember, I'll do an hour and fifty. Right, right. <laughs> Do you sometimes black out in the act and... Oh, uh, oh yes. Yeah. Do you oh, know, I, do you ever I get... I shouldn't tell the people in Canada, but there's a lot of, oh, God, what comes next? <laughs> please, please, God, what comes next? Is that real or are you just... Oh, I see, I see, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I... But you can get away with it uh, a little better because your style is relaxed. And I stammer. Right, right. So you could you could probably build it in. They wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, had, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Are you sure? I think you might be gently mocking me, Bob. <laughs> Was that a decision early on? Did you did you choose a style, or did did the style kind of evolve out of your own personality? Do you think? No, I, I always. Um, it, it's not a stutter. It, it's a stammer. Right. Which what, is, what's the um, difference? Well, the difference. <laughs> the difference is like a stutter. It's like a letter, like p p p p p. p. But why did you choose p? You see, I, I, you know. And the minute I did, I, I said I should have chosen another letter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when you've got to have a p, you've got to have a p. Yeah. See, but the stammer, um, it's like a whole word you, you, have, you have trouble with. Oh, I see. see like, like when I was, the Bob Newhart show, when we first started, we were doing the pilot, and it was running a little long. And the, uh, the, one of the producers came up to me and said, you know, could you run some of your speeches together, because it's running kind of long. And I said, Lorenzo, I said, this, this stammer has gotten me a home in Beverly Hills, and I'm not, I'm not about to drop it, so you better... <laughs> I think that is a wise decision. That's a wise decision. Do you still, do you, do you watch a lot of the multi, because, I mean, there's not a lot of multi-camera shows on. Uh, TV, you know, the Big Bang Theory, of course, yeah. which uh, you've uh, done uh, a lot of work on. Yeah. And oh, the, uh, this is a great show. Yeah. And uh, Hot in Cleveland, have you done Hot in Cleveland? Yet? I haven't done. No, you got to do Hot in Cleveland. That's the, that's the, I, the only two multi-camera shows that I can think of. Off the top, I'm sure there are others, but that's the only two that I can think of that are wildly yeah, the, successful. I grew up uh, in, I mean, the Bob Newhart show. We, we all did a three-camera show in front of an audience. Mary Tyler Moore and uh, All in the Family and the Bob Newhart show and Honeymooners. Everybody did it in front of an audience. And uh, I have done it without without an audience it's very sterile it really is i mean yeah i think it becomes a little more uh fun for the writers and and producers though yeah. i mean i yeah. think that you know if you see the show like modern family which is a fantastic uh, comedy uh, really well done uh but it clearly is in you know yeah. there's a lot going on in in post and and not in front of an audience at all but they seem to it doesn't seem to bother me i i, I was very okay. reticent about them at first but i think it works pretty well could I ask a question? Um, no. no. <laughs> oh, all right then. Yes. Are, are we ever going to get to the notes? I tore them up. Oh, no. uh, yeah. <laughs> was there anything? Was there anything in particular? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Tell no, me, Bob, I, I can't, you know, live by your rules, man. I, uh... You know what, Johnny Carson used... Now, that's good company. Johnny Carson used to do that to me all the time. He, the, the first question out of the box we had never talked about, it'd be something like, did you ever go skeet shooting? Well, uh, did you? No. Well, why not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, clearly you've got a bit of money and, you know, you've got a little free time. You could go out and help America have less skeet. Rid, rid the world of Rid skeet. the world of the, the, skeet. the, frankly, the skeet problem. Uh, <laughs> what, is, what is skeet? Um, skeet is, it, is, is uh, it's like a, a hockey disc. Oh, it's like the frisbee thing that yeah, you shoot. Yes, yeah, clay pigeons, they yeah, call them. Yeah. I, <laughs> see, the reason... Did you ever shoot a, a, a real pigeon? No. No. 
Have you ever? Have you? Have you See, got the any? Reason, the reason I never went skate shooting. Yeah. Is is I grew up in Chicago. <laughs> and you don't. I'm you don't, you don't. You don't go skate shooting in Chicago. You go. You know, para. <laughs> you scare the hell out of the uh, the, the neighbors. You, know? you, you scared me there when you did I'm that para <laughs> noise like that. <laughs> Uh, that was a that was a good noise. Yeah, no, I, I suppose not. Uh, well, do you have any pets? Uh, <laughs> Give me the note. Give me the note. Yeah, that's not the notes. That's uh, tonight's guest. It's uh, you and Melissa who's on after you. Uh -huh. And then this is uh, next week's guest. Uh, uh, this is the amount of people that have won the golden harmonica. Ah. And uh, then there's some uh, chocolate Don't dollars. See. Anyway, I asked you if you had a pet. You don't have any pets? Yes, I have, uh, uh, we have a, a, a dog. Dog. <laughs> so you, do, uh, you, don't, you don't have a skeet you don't, then? You don't, give, <laughs> you don't give a damn, do you? I do, I do, I do. I give a damn about you. <laughs> Oh, my, 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 <laughs> my career, my career is ending right here. No, 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 at no, 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 Bob. Your career ended not, when you not, agreed to be on this show. Not, yes, I, I should. You're, you're known for it. I no, should. I should have realized. No, Bob. Your career is. Uh, uh, I mean, it, you're a hall of famer, man. You can't be touched. It's, it's impeccable now. You're fine. Thank you're you. You're safe. You're home. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you know what could go wrong? What? Another appearance on this show. Technically, that's going to happen because we'll go for a commercial <laughs> break and we'll be right back with Ron Ewan. <laughs> so your dog is a princess of some kind. It's a mutt, actually. Really? Yes, yes. Do you always have dogs? Uh, no, I had a cat once. Mm. <laughs> I never, I never thought it would end this way. <laughs> okay. No, 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 come on now, come on. Come on now. <laughs> I'll wake no. up, I'll wake no, no, up. No, it's, I'll wake up, it's, I'll wake it's up. It's fine. What? Wake up, Bob, Bob, wake up. It's fine, Bob. No, I'm still here. <laughs> Just, just, just one, just one, just one more thing. I promise, then this is it. One more thing. What was the cat's name? <laughs> Puddich cat. Puddy cat. Puddy cat. Puddy cat. No, I actually had a cat. One time, uh, its name was Morris. Morris? But Morris, Morris had lost an eye and, and a leg. <laughs> and I should have named the cat Sammy, because that's the only other black-eyed, one-eyed cat I knew. Talented actress. She stars on The Big Bang Theory, Thursdays, 8 o'clock on the CBS Network. Take a look at this. <laughs> Melissa Rush, Really 
good. You look very nice. Hang on, I'll get oh. the, uh, hold on, here it is. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. The Tom Cruise, if he's ever on the <laughs> show. Thank you. It's such a nice amenity. Well, you know, it legally really in California, if you have a talk show, you have to have that. Really? In case Tom Cruise is on. That's so interesting. Mm. I just need to go where Tom Cruise goes so I get a little step stool. It's so nice. Yeah. Yes, baby. I like your shoes, too. Thank you. We right. kind of match. I Little bit. Hi, look, it's your tie. Hi, look, look at the tie, Blue. Uh-oh. Did I just show my... Oh, hey. Oh. Hey, look, somebody's going to the prom with a creepy date. <laughs> nice. Am I the creepy date? No, I'm the creepy you're the cre date. No, oh. you're the beautiful... Well, You're thanks. the beautiful, raunchy sex goddess, oh. and I'm the, uh... And I'm the creepy guy who lives yeah. at the end of the street. The, uh... <laughs> The Boo Radley of late night comedians. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea very much I, indeed. Did you ever read uh, To Kill a Mockingbird? I did. A I book, did. I did a book report on that in high school. Or maybe it was middle school. I don't know. I, I think it may have been too. middle school. I have a, I have a, I don't know, one of my sons remedial. is in middle school and, and he's just finished it. Really? Did he like it? Yes, he did. Thank goodness. Because it wasn't a video game. Uh, uh, <laughs> are you a video game person? Do you play video I think I'm not, and then I think, well, wait, there's Angry Birds, uh, okay. and, and there's uh, Mario Kart 8. Uh, I was a big Tetris addict back in the day. Nice. Like, I would you must know how to and... stack things. I... You call me. I'm a stacker. Mm, yes, a you stacker. are. Yes, you are. They call me. My, my middle name is Stacker. It's Melissa Stacker Roush. <laughs> is that real? Yeah. It's no, it's not real. It's not no. Real. It's not real. No, that would be. It would good. be a good name, though, right? Stack around. Stack around. Yeah. That's my new name, guys. Yeah, yeah. Stack around. Oh, I like it. It's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right the next time. Are you, you a video game person, then? Do you, apart from Tetris, Tetris doesn't really Tetris count. Tetris is it, and then I did like the Super Mario Brothers. Like I was like old school back in the day, Nintendo. Yeah. And then like after the Tetris addiction, I was like, I gotta call it quits. Yeah, no, I had to do that with Angry Birds. I was like, that's enough of that. And did you try that Candy Crush one? No, I Don't couldn't. do it. Interesting. My mom was addicted to it big time. Like, yeah. she came to visit, and we went on, like, a girls' week, and I took her to, like, this really nice, like, spa retreat. And at night, under the covers in her bed, I saw the sheets glowing. I was like, what is happening under there? And she's like, nothing, it's fine. And it was her, like, playing Candy Crush at all hours of the night. You might want to report that. I, uh, right. No, the thing I was weird about it, though, is you play it for a little bit, and then this little thing comes out and goes, you're out of things, do you want to give me another $5? Oh. And then it, it take, keeps taking little bits of money off you all the time. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, it's like I'm... the first one's free, and then, eh, oh, eh, eh. That's how they get you. Yeah, that is how you get you. So did you ever have a, a Class A drug problem? Did I have... I didn't. I didn't. I was, I'm such a, like, rules follower, so the right. fact that I was told at a young age, like, don't do that. Good, really good, good right. parenting. Yeah. Sadly fell apart when the Candy Crush thing came in, but <laughs> before true. that. Before that, Very we're good. Okay. We're what about okay. a pet? Did you ever have a pet? I had a dog <laughs> that I was addicted to, or just in general? Well, I think, I think you, you kind of get addicted to you dogs, do. you know? I had, yeah, I had a dog. My dog, Lucky, we, I had my entire life. Yes. We, we, he was a stray, we found him, and he lived for 19 years. That is lucky. It was a long time. Yeah, and yeah. He, um, he ended up um, getting a, um, a form of cancer that blew his um, testicles up. And when we put him down... This when is, you like, say blew them... Somewhere. No, wait, wait, wait. It didn't, like, blow them up. Like, they didn't explode. Right, that's what I needed to get. Yeah, yeah. Not like, right. right. But, like, they, they got enlarged, and when we... We had to put him to sleep eventually. It's terribly it was one sad. of the saddest days. It's awful. Of my life. I've had to it do that. Awful. Break your heart. It was dog. horrible. It's terrible. And my whole family was in there. My now husband at the time, we were dating. He was there. Did he propose at that? Because that wouldn't be good. It, yeah. it would have been weird. No, no, no. Not a good time no. to propose. I would have said yes because I was emotionally broken. Sure, yeah. But we were all just sobbing. And my mother, the last words that my dog heard was, No more big balls, Lucky. <laughs> That was that was the last thing that my dog heard before he went to you bed. You know, I have to horrible, say, 
horrible. Well, but, you know, if you think about it, you know, and yes, of course, it's terribly sad, but in yeah. other terms, you know, the dog lived to be 19 years old. He yes. was astray, and you, mm -hmm. you and you rescued him from that, and, and he uh, had large testicles. and <laughs> That didn't explode. That didn't explode, no. and after a long and happy life, yeah. uh, he was complimented on his <laughs> massive testicles, and off he went. That's true. I have to say, if but I... If I get that. You're right. You're totally right. That is a that's a nice way to go. Yeah, you know, I mean you can't ask for better than that, really. That's about it. That's true. So you didn't get another dog there. You don't have a dog now. I don't, no. I got three. Do you want one? Yeah, I'd love one. You can have the Jack Russell. Oh, I like a Jack Russell. Why oh, why do you want to give that they're one? They're impossible. Really? Yeah, oh, they're just impossible. They're they're hooligans. Really? Yes. Yeah, they, they, they won't well, behave at all. I have a German Shepherd, very orderly, oh, that's up and down, marches up and down, salutes. <laughs> and Very smart. And a French Bulldog kind of does what the German Bulldog tells it to do. And <laughs> but, the, but the Jack Russell, oh. No. no. How old? Uh, you can't really have it. No. Okay. Like, you were kind of seriously. I was. Yeah, well, you, I was going to ask you how big the dog was. Go get a rescue next. dog. Just all right. <laughs> Do it. You're right. I feel like my heart has finally healed. How long ago was this? It was years ago. It should have. I just. It takes me a while. It takes me a while. But I'm. I'm gonna come around. Get a dog. No, okay. don't come around to my house because <laughs> you. You can't get that dog. Uh, we'll talk about it. I feel like it's negotiable. Uh, no. 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 no, no. <laughs> not it's even not really bit? my dog. You know. Oh. It's, it's not. It's. Well, I have children. Oh right. Okay. Um, you can have one I'll of those. I'll talk to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, no, you can't. You None can't of have them. them I either. can't have anything. I think the older one might actually go of his own accord. But the uh... <laughs> no, I, that's it. We're out of time. Anyway. Oh, okay. Stop trying to get me to give you free stuff. All right. All right. All right. You All can right. have. What can you I can have? Have a chocolate dollar. Okay. I'll take. Can I have two? <laughs> Come on, gross dad. All right. All right. Give it to All dad. right. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's make uh, a PSA, okay. right, for um, people who are coming to Hollywood and they're going to learn how to negotiate with producers and directors. Okay. In this, uh, I will be the producer director and Melissa will play the part of the successful actress. Okay. Hello. You can have a chocolate dollar. Oh, that's very nice of you, but I would really like one more, please. <laughs> I see. Look, we could just do this. Oh, how lovely. Thank you so much. I'm so glad I came to Hollywood. <laughs> well, that's a ride, We learned on the show tonight that Bob Newhart had a dog. <laughs> right? Right, that's correct. Didn't we? And we learned that Melissa Roush also had a dog. That's correct. <laughs> that I have three dogs. <laughs> Secretary has how many dogs? <laughs> a dog? Uh... <laughs> Jeff, how many dogs do you have? I have one. And what's its name? Veruca. <laughs> <laughs> well, what kind of a dog is he, Jeff? Kind you rub salt on. <laughs> it's a schnauzer. It's a schnauzer. I'm sorry. Schna schnauzer? Schnauzer. Schnauzer. schnauzer? Schnitzel. It's a schna schnitzel. It's a strudel. I ate it. I ate the dog, all right? Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. He didn't eat the dog, the dog is imaginary and is fine.